In the video today, I'm gonna to show you how you can easily create video inside Nano Banana. So what we're gonna learn in the video today, how to access the video model inside Nano Banana. Then we're gonna go on to the best prompt formula for creating videos and how to increase the amount of videos you get inside Google Nano Banana. So how do you actually access the video model inside Nano Banana? Well, it's simple. All you need to do is go on to Google Gemini Flash 2.5 and then click on the tool section. When you've opened this up, you'll see that you've got Nano Banana here, but we actually want the option above. You can see that that's create with VA. When we've done this, what we can do is go ahead and create a prompt if we want. But the most important thing to do is to learn the best prompt formula for creating videos. So if you want to create cinematic videos like this, it's so important to learn prompting. This is the prompt that we're actually going to focus on in the video today. It starts with the main shot and camera movement. Then it goes to the subject and the action of the subject, the setting that it's in, the visual style, and then finally the audio. I think the best way to learn this is to actually start by putting a prompt in and then we can go through this with the prompt formula so you can break down each step, making it really simple. So let's just start from the beginning. So we've got the wide angle dolly shot and that covers the main shot and camera movement. We then have the subject and the action and that's the warrior in a black fur coat. And he's turning with the action to face a massive ice dragon. Now, next up, we have the setting and the environment. And this setting here is this snowy battlefield. Then we have the visual style, which is ultra detailed. And finally, we have the audio, which is a deep rumble of a dragon breathing and the wind howling. And then this is the result. So just looking at this straight away, you can see that we've got the dragon here. We've got the sound effects in the background. We've got the warrior facing the dragon. It actually looks really cinematic and good. But the problem here is that the warrior hasn't turned around. So that's one little issue that we could take care of. Next up, let's move on to this prompt. Let's try something a little bit more lighthearted. So we've got a close up shot of a puppy and the little puppy dog is splashing in a drink of milk tea on the side with the drink flowing out. And then the dog is licking the milk tea on a wooden table. Now we want this to be high quality, light and bright, and of course, cute. Finally, the audio is splashing the milk tea sounds so now we've added that you can see that this is the result and just looking at this straight away we can see it's actually doing really good on this you've got the puppy which looks very much like a puppy it's very cute like we've asked and the sound effects match the video as well now it does a very good job at actually creating the videos based on that prompt that we've given it so always use that prompt when you're creating videos inside of Nano Banana or the video model. And this is gonna give you the best results every single time. There is one thing that we need to talk about though, and that is the elephant in the room. So very annoyingly, when you use the video model inside Gemini, you only get three daily generations of video, which is nothing because if you wanna practice and create different styles, that's just not going to cut it. Now, the good news is there is a way which I'm going to share with you right now that you can increase the amount of videos that you actually are able to generate. And that's by using something called Google Flow. Now, if you've never heard of Google Flow before, it's actually included in your subscription. So when you use Google One and you have access to the tools, the AI tools, did you know that inside there, if we zoom in, you can see that you actually have access to Google Flow with limited access to VO3. Now you might be thinking, oh, limited access, that's not good, but actually you get a thousand credits and each video generation is only 20 credits. So my math says that it's about 50 video generations you have in total if you're just doing one output. Now, if you want to inside Google Flow, you can do multiple outputs of your prompt, which means it can give you different choices and different looks of the prompt that you've added in. And you have access to different models. So if you want this to be cheaper and do more generations, you can actually use VO2 model. But I advise VO3 if you can most of the time and use the fast version. You can keep your credits down to 20 per generation. 
Now, one of the best things you can use Google Flow for with video is something called frame to video. Now, this is where you add in images and then you're able to start the video based on the first image and then end the video based on the last image. You just choose the frames to video option here inside Google Flow and then you choose the first image option, which is just underneath it. Now, add the image in that you want to start the video from. Now, in this case, I just generate the image inside Nano Banana. So when you've added your first image in, you crop it to a 16 by nine, and then you save it. Next up, you have to add in another image, and this is going to tell Google Flow where to end the video and what to end it on. We simply add this in now, and when we've got both of them, we're gonna finalize this by adding in our prompt. Just use that prompt formula I've shown you earlier in the video, and you'll be able to get some great generations. So let's just type this one in here, and then let's give it a go. Okay, so I've added in this prompt here that we're gonna work with, but now we need to choose the model. Now, unfortunately, with frame two video, you can't actually use VO3. You have to use VO2. Now, this creates really good video generations, but unfortunately, you don't have audio. So that's something that is a bit of a sacrifice at the moment. So you need to choose VO2 fast, and this is the result. So he's brought both the frames together here the first frame, and then based on the prompt, which I said that he's sitting on the edge of a cliff and he's emotional, his head lifts up and he's got tears rolling down his face, you can see it's done a really good job. Now, just because Google hasn't let you have access to VO3 model inside Google Flow, there are other softwares and programs out there that you can look at for these things. One of the ones that I also use is Higfield, and that's because it's got access to so many things. It has Nano Banana in there, it has all of your best image models, and it has video models, including VO3 and Kling 2.1. So if you do like the frame to video setup, then I would say check out Kling 2.1 because actually it does it so much better than any other software currently out there. But you can check that out if you want to, the link is in the description. So if you wanna get the best video generations inside this in Nano Banana, then make sure you use that prompt because it's gonna give you the very best results. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And once again, thanks for all the support you've been giving me with the latest videos. It's so appreciated. If you really like these kind of videos, remember to hit subscribe because there's new videos coming about every three days at the moment, all about Nano Banana and different AI software. Give me a like and any questions you've got, leave them in the comments, whatever you do for the rest of the day. Make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.